Hi there everyone, Rowan here from the Pog Centre. Um, with this glorious, glorious weather that we're currently having, we just thought it'd be quite a good idea just to do a quick video based around obviously making sure that your hens stay nice and hydrated and as cool as possible during this uh, beautiful summer summer weather that we're having at the moment. Um, there's quite a few different tips that, we, uh, that we'll go through today, some of which are tonics that you can add to their water and others are just home remedies that you can try yourself at home. First of all, we'll start with number one. So there's quite a few tonics out there at the moment on the market. Um, so one that we tend to use ourselves here and we also recommend to all of our customers is a wonderful tonic called Hydrator Hem. So the way that this works, not only does it give them extra vitamins and probiotics, it also actually encourages them to drink. This obviously helps massively for the simple fact that obviously if you can encourage your bird to drink some more, you'll just be ensuring that you'll be taking in as much water as possible. Um, you simply add it just straight to their water and it just encourages them just to drink as as much as uh, as much as possible Number two is probably the most important one, and it's the simplest one of all, is fresh water. So what we tend to try and do is just make sure that you're giving your hens and your cockerels as much fresh water as possible. Sometimes more than a single water source is really useful. So at least if you've got birds already on one, the other birds can actually tend to, to go over to the second water source as well. And again, if at all possible, just try and keep this fresh as possible and keep changing the water multiple times a day just to ensure that it is nice and cold. One of the biggest misconceptions is people always say about putting ice cubes directly into their water to be honest we normally recommend that this is a bit of a no-no the simple fact it's just the same as us guys you guys at home and myself here if it is a really hot day and you drink a lot of ice cold water it can actually give you stomach ache it's exactly the same thing with the chickens as well so what we normally recommend is just nice cold water directly from the tap without the ice cubes and just try and do that twice a day as a minimum So number three we definitely recommend is different types of treats out there. Um, so by treats we recommend especially vegetables and also fruit as well. There's loads of different options that you can give for them. For example, watermelon, sweet corn, especially canned sweet corn, all different things like that because they actually have quite a high water content themselves and grapes as well is another fantastic one. What we also recommend as well um, is actually if you were to put, for example, chop your melon up, chop your grapes up, pop those actually in the freezer for a little while to really cool them down and as the girls then are actually pecking away to try and get the treat they do get a short sharp burst of obviously cold liquid actually going into their mouths what also worked really well is if you get like for example canned sweet corn or finely chopped up fruit and vegetables just sprinkle them into an ice tray pop that in the freezer with some water and you can always give the girls a couple of those per day just to give them that extra nice cold treat when it is hot Number four is definitely shade. So again, chickens are quite good themselves at regulating their body temperature. They actually pant quite similar to a dog, obviously just without their tongues being out. However, obviously if you can actually fly your bird with as much shade as possible, and if there is an area that does get a bit more of a draft through, just to get that cooler air coming through towards the coop, that's a great asset as well. Um, you can use loads of different things out there, like, um, blacked out tarpaulins or sheets or anything along those kind of lines that you can actually put across the top of the run or even make some form of tent if they are within a free range area. It just gives the girls somewhere just to go, take some shelter and just ensure that they do stay cooler throughout the day. And then last but certainly not least, number five. So what we also recommend is giving your girls a nice dust bath. So the chickens will naturally do this themselves anyway. Um, you will tend to find that they will scratch up at the ground. Um, we always tend to try and give them some form of dust bath as well. So we always recommend doing everything in third. So if you can try and do a third soil, a third sand and if you have it available a third wood ash as well so the wood ash itself will actually help uh, condition the feathers and the overall health and hygiene of the outside of the bird but what you'll also find as well on days like today they'll actually dig nice and deep where it gets a lot cooler down underneath and they will also use that as an extra benefit just to try and keep themselves cool Thanks so much for watching the video today everybody. Um, what we'll actually do is all of the products that we also recommend and what we've mentioned about in this video today, we will put a little link just in the description above. Um, any questions you guys may have at all, just pop a little comment just below here for you and we'll try and answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.